We are really excited to have you here at FanFest, and we are excited to have you here with three of the newest members of the Diamondbacks organization. Immediately to my left, former first round draft pick of the St. Louis Cardinals. He will be in the D-backs rotation this season. Please say hello to Luke Weaver. We got any Sun Devil fans here? Hold your forks high for Merrill Kelly, former Sun Devil standout. And on the end, catcher Carson Kelly, no relation. <laughs> At least so far as we know. But guys, welcome to Phoenix. Welcome to the Diamondbacks. Carson, I'll start with you. I mean, you, you like Luke, grew up in the Cardinals organization. What was your reaction when you found out you were traded to Arizona? Uh, I mean, it was, it was crazy. It was a whirlwind of emotions. Didn't really know what to, to do, but then I, I called Luke, and, he, and we were both pretty excited, and he's one of the guys that if I were to get traded, he would, he would be one of the guys, so it's pretty special. Uh, you you are, have been a catcher as a professional, but you were converted from infield. What's that process like? switching from being an infielder to being behind the plate? Uh, basically, the first thing you do is try to squat for three hours, which is <laughs> kind of one of the harder things to do. But uh, once you can do that, you know, it's, it only gets harder. So, uh, no, it's been, uh, it's been a great conversion, and it, it, it propelled my career in a way that, you know, brought me here. So it's uh, pretty special. L Luke, did you feel the same way about being traded with Carson that he felt about being traded with you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had a tickle in my throat. Yeah, I'm going to say that now. Later, <laughs> might tell somebody else no. But no, it was good, you know. Like he said, he contacted me, and uh, I think I was a little more overwhelmed just because I would think I was half asleep taking a nap, and I just kind of got it and had to figure things out and figure out life from there. But it was really exciting, and we're, we talked about it a lot, and we're really excited to be here. And more than anything, um, great fans, great ball club, and great golf. So we're excited about that. <laughs> oh, how is the golf game? His is terrible. <laughs> he thought I said coffee. Mm. Uh, I don't know yet. We haven't actually played. Not once since you've been out here? We haven't played again. I played uh, like six played. times already. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Maybe I don't like golf that much. Uh, folks, if you have questions for these guys, go ahead and find Vanessa and Michael, line them up. Merrill, this is a homecoming for you. You went to high school here at Desert Mountain. What's it been like coming home? Yeah. Go Devils. No? No Devils fans? All right. You guys were here a minute ago, and now you're not here anymore. Uh, yeah, I, can't, I honestly can't believe that I'm sitting here talking to you guys today. Um, you know, the chances of me being able to come home and play in the big leagues is one thing, but the chances of me coming home playing the big leagues in front of um, the hometown crowd is, is special. So I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be talking to you guys here today. Your story is pretty cool because you were on the cusp of the big leagues with Tampa and decided to go to Korea, now come back. What went into the decision to go and pitch in Korea? I would say it was just the circumstances that I was in at the time. Um, I didn't like the position that I was in in Tampa. I thought I'd, uh, you know, go, go to Korea, try something new, um, you know, try to get better, and uh, it ended up working out. Folks, if you have questions, go ahead and find Vanessa and Mike. I think we have the first one here. Is this working? Okay. Yeah. First one from Kevin. First of all, guys, uh, for all of you, welcome to the Diamondbacks. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, my next question is, what does opening day mean to you guys? What does opening day mean to you guys? Uh, Luke, you want to take that one? You've had an opening day. I haven't <laughs> had an opening day either, so. Uh, only with an opening day. Thank you, God. Um, well, last year was my first one, uh, making it the team out of camp with the Cardinals. And we were in New York, and so that was my first opening day, an amazing experience. There's nothing like it, especially um, at your home ballpark. So more than anything, I, I'm ecstatic to see what Arizona's got and the energy they're going to bring and all the cool uh, activities that come with that. So it's a feeling like no other, and it'll just repeat this year. 
Meryl, for you, what, have you thought at all about what that will be like to, to line up? Uh, yeah, I've, I've let it sink in a little bit. It hasn't quite hit me. I still don't think it'll quite hit me really until I get on the mound and actually throw that first pitch. Um, but for me, it just means the start of my major league career and being able to do it at home. So it's, it'll be pretty fun. How about for you, Carson? Have you thought about what it would be like? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's an experience that, you know, you dream about as a kid and, and walking out on the field and there's tons of fans going crazy. I mean, that's what you dream about when you're playing wiffle ball in the backyard. And, and that's something that I'm really excited to experience. And I'll be there, too, so I'll see you guys there. <laughs> All right. oh. Thanks, Kevin. So you, you have a brother who plays yeah. professional baseball as well. What was it like kind of growing up in a baseball family? Uh, pretty cool. Um, he got drafted by the Cardinals this last June, and he's a pitcher, and it went to the, the same place I actually went to when I first started. So um, getting to you know share that experience with him, I was very ecstatic for him and, I, and told him that it, it, it's a long road, but to, to continue, uh, you know, continue to ro grow and uh, keep going. Meryl, for you in getting a chance to be in big league spring training and, and be here with, with you know, knowing that you're probably most likely going to be on the team, is, are there different emotions in getting ready for a season than maybe there were when you were in Tampa? Um, I'd say a little bit this, this year just because it's my first year back from Korea. Um, you know, it's, I'm still here to do a job. I still love playing baseball. Um, and it doesn't change whether I'm in Korea or whether I'm here, or whether I'm Tampa. Um, so the preparation has been the same. I think it's a little more, you know, exaggerated because I did sign a deal, so I have a little bit more of an idea going into camp rather than uh, not having that outlook, I think would probably be the biggest difference. Luke, for you, you spent the entire year in the big leagues last year, for the most part. What, what what was that like? What was maybe the biggest lesson that you took out of last season in St. Louis? Yeah, being able to be up there basically the whole year. Um, you learn that the game is really hard. And at this level, uh, the game speeds up. And you just got to be able to slow things down. And more than anything, just be consistent in everything you're doing, whether it's routines, um, outside the field, living, making good choices. And um, it all pays off because it's a long season with a lot of games. And uh, when you're doing the little things right, everything will work out good for you. And sometimes the ups and downs will come, but it's just about how you, how you take those and, and you, uh, you move on from them. Another question here. Our next question is from Keegan. Hi, um, question is for Luke and Carson. First of all, welcome to Arizona. Um, being traded for Paul Goldschmidt, do you feel as if there's going to be added pressure for you on your play? Do you feel like fans are going to be evaluating you under a microscope because you were traded for Paul Goldschmidt? That's a good, good question. Paul, Paul who? I'm, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. He's really good. Um, for me personally, yeah, he's one of the best players in the league and y'all should all be, um, you know, proud of what he did here and, and he's gonna have an amazing career and, and so I know that hurts a little bit but we come in here with a clean slate and hoping that we can contribute um, hopefully in the same way um, in, a, in a big way and help this team get to where it needs to be and um, you know I know we're not as big of a name as he is but we hope to one day and we know we're early in our career but that's what we strive for is to be a, be a guy like that who's well-rounded and is doing all the things right and, and love the fans, and that's what we hope for. That was a good, that was a good answer, Luke. That a boy. No, that, that, it's exactly, I, I, I agree with Luke. I mean, we, we can't come in here and, and try to be, you know, love you too. I don't know who said that. but uh, Oh, TJ. Hey, man. Um, basically, when, we, when you get traded and you come to a new organization, you don't want to try to, you know, conquer the world or do all these great things. I mean, you obviously want to do great things, but we, we have to be ourselves. We can't try to replicate what Paul did here. We have to be ourselves, and, and, that's, and hopefully over time, then you guys love us and continue to, to grow with us. So, um, I mean, we're younger players, but we're looking to grow and continue to get better and, and be a part of this organization. Thank you, guys. 
Okay, Jones. our next question is from 10-year-old Noah. Uh, what's your favorite pitch, Luke? Hey, 10-year-old Noah. <laughs> That's a cool name. My favorite pitch would probably be the fastball. You just let that sucker rip, and you say, batter, I dare you to hit it. <laughs> what's your favorite pitch? Um, uh, I don't know, fastball. That's a good choice. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, I'm working on my changeup right now. So. I like a changeup too. Carson knows that. How about your? What's your favorite pitch? Mine. Yeah. Changeup. You don't want to know what my favorite pitch is. <laughs> <laughs> you you really want to know? Yeah, I do. Hmm. Well, we got two changeup guys. Favorite pitch for him to hit or favorite pitch for yeah. him to catch? Great question. Either. Um, catch. One to catch? The one that goes straight, which never <laughs> happens. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Thanks, Noah. Hey, you guys are both, both have great change-ups. So, Mir, I'll start with you. Where, where did you learn yours? Uh, I learned mine probably, I've been throwing the same grip since I was probably, I don't know, 16. Uh, the arm slot was different, but the, the grip has stayed the same since I was that age. How about for you, Luke? Yeah, similar thing. Um, mine might have been a little before that. I just remember grabbing the grip, but maybe my dad showed me. and um, Differently, different from most grips, a little unconventional, but something I always threw, and people would always try to change it and then say, I like this, and you just got to stick with what you, know, you feel and what works best for you, and it's worked out just like it has for Merrill. Another question here? Yep, our next question from Susan. Hi, um, this year you'll be playing on AstroTurf, and I'm wondering if you've played on AstroTurf, and what's that like? Is it AstroTurf or Diamondback Turf? <laughs> Diamondback Turf. I like that. Stop calling people out, man. <laughs> <laughs> We're having fun. How do you answer that? You're the, you're the field. Yeah, so I lived in Portland growing up, and every field was at or AstroTurf or whatever turf is out there. But um, it, it's a little bit different. The ball, the ball um, it almost skips a little bit more rather than grass where it, it rolls. Um, so, you know, it'll be interesting to see. I, I don't think we've been out there to see it yet. But, um, I mean, they say it plays like grass, but we really don't know. There aren't that many turf fields in the big leagues. Did, were there a lot of turf fields in Korea? There were a fair amount of domes, right? There was, a, there was one dome, and there was probably, I would say, three, three fields that were turf. See, people of my generation and maybe a little bit older think of AstroTurf as being, like, really hard concrete, right? The ball bounces way off it like it did at Veterans Stadium or, or Riverfront. Is it a little different now when you have played on turf? I mean, Kirsten, you probably have the most experience with that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's actually a lot softer than it was, uh, I mean, what, 20 or 10, 10 years, 20 years ago? Um, but it it's actually plays like normal, which is, you know, pretty cool, and especially if it rains, which I don't think we're getting a lot of rain here, <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, so. Well, so the nice thing about it is with the turf at Chase Field, they'll be able to keep the roof closed all summer, which means that, you know, that some of those days you get in there, it's a little warm because the roof's been open. That's not going to be the case. It's going to be nice and cool every time you walk into the ballpark. So, Vanessa, you get another. All right, our next question is from Chris. Um, yeah, I want to know how it feels like to move state to state. Oh, so how does it feel to move state to state? You guys, obviously, all three of you had, well, I guess, Meryl, you live here in the winter anyway, but the, uh, uh, you guys moved. That's a big change, right? Yeah, Meryl went overseas, so. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> It's honestly, it's a lot of fun. You get to experience a lot of different places, a lot of different cities. Uh, I think it just probably depends on how long the trip is and at what time of the morning that we're going to get in. Okay, our next one's from Angelo. How old were you when you, um, your mom first let you have a girlfriend? Luke, you want to handle that one? I like it, a non-baseball question, I like it. I think he's asking, I think he's asking for a friend. <laughs> or maybe he's asking for himself. I don't know. He's trying to get some points here, I don't know, let's see. How old are you? What, uh, how old are you? Yeah. That's a good question. He's 10. He's 10. Right. Yeah, older, older than, than 10. 10. Yeah. 
Take that into account, good boys. How old were you, Luke? Let's think about this. You got a girl your eye on? Or? Um, yes. What does your mom think about it? Yeah. Is your mom here? Oh, yeah, she's waving. No, don't, don't, don't look at her. Don't, Where's don't, mom? Don't, she don't want to look at you right now, I promise you. How old, mom, how old do you think he should be to have a girlfriend? Well. 32. <laughs> mom, that's a little hard. Come on, mom. <laughs> uh, did we ever answer that? Older than 10. <laughs> that's great. But I hope it you, works out. You had some life changes, Meryl. You got married uh, just a couple months ago, right? Correct. Congrats so on that. A little over two months ago. Thank you. Where, for Carson and, and Luke, since you guys have spent some time in the big leagues, wh where are your favorite cities to play? Uh, Arizona. <laughs> Outside of the obvious. Oh, is that where we're at? Yeah. Oh. Um, I, I think this division really is one of the cooler divisions to play in. Uh, going out to California, San Diego, L.A., San Francisco, those are really cool. Um, getting away from that, I always thought uh, the Houston Astros, that, that whole trip was fun. Um, and then going East Coast is always cool for me, uh, trying to see some friends and family uh, close to where I'm at in Florida. And uh, so just... Take your pick. Yeah, I, uh... Oh yeah, we're working. There we go. Um, Chicago was probably special, pretty special to me because I have family there, and then uh, actually Boston was pretty cool because of the the, the history of that and getting into, into Fenway and, and the Green Monster. I actually got to sign it, which was pretty cool. That's neat. So uh, you did too. <laughs> I think so. I don't even think I've been there. Yeah, you did. You were there. I'm pretty sure. Not buying it. Uh, next. Okay. Vanessa, we have another question. Sorry, I was getting That's a little okay. ready. <laughs> the next one's from Susan. Um, this is for Carson. So, um, big Molina fan. Um, what do you think is the one thing that you learned from him that you can bring with you as a catcher? Can you say it one more time? Just talk right into the, the middle of the microphone. So. <laughs> Um, I'm a Molina fan. Um, I like, liked him for a long time. So being behind him in St. Louis, what's the one thing that you learned from him that you can bring with you as a catcher? Um, I would say well, Yachty's a very passionate player, and, and he loves his team. And the one thing he said was always protect your guys no matter what. No matter what the circumstances, you protect your guys. So uh, I'm excited to, to be a part of this team, and I'm going to do everything to protect our guys. Who were some of the big influences, Meryl, for you as you were either in, when you were playing in the States or playing in Korea, that maybe guys that you leaned on to learn from? It would probably just be my teammates that I came up with in Tampa, uh, guys that I still kept in contact with, bounced ideas back and forth with while I was over there. Um, but since I think we came up in the same system, we have a lot of the same ideals or how we want to approach pitching or maybe a certain hitters or something like that. Um, so the guys that I came up with, uh, a guy named like Matt Moore comes to mind, Alex Cobb, um, those type of guys. How about for you, Luke? I know that the Cardinals starters with Adam Wainwright there have always been a pretty close group, but who were the guys that you really leaned on? Yeah, really everybody, um, everybody on the team was fantastic, but you know, you get spend a lot of time in your particular position. So with the, in, the, in the starting rotation, um, Adam Wainwright's always been a huge mentor to me, and we talk all the time. And uh, I'm going to miss him and those other guys, but um, he's taught me a lot, a lot about stuff on the baseball field, um, stuff off the field, charity work. We've gone to Haiti, Dominican Republic, done some stuff over there. And so that plays a, a big part in my life and stuff he's taught me along the way. So um, a lot of invaluable stuff that just um, you know, meant so much and that we'll make sure we stay um, you know, close friends, but uh, it's time to make some, some new besties. You, you know, Kirsten, I know Susan asked about Yachty, but you also played for a pretty great defensive catcher in Mike Matheny, and I know he was a, a great admirer of your work. What was it like playing for and with two guys that were premium defenders? Was there a, I don't know, was there a, an extra focus maybe on how you went about things? Did you, did you learn from being challenged with that group? Definitely. I mean, the, 
be there was four eyes on you at all times. You know, so if you did something wrong, hey, you're going to hear about it. Um, but be, picking those guys' brains, it's it, I've learned so much over the years, and and I consider both of them mentors to me. And I've learned so much that I'm I'm ready to apply here and you know continue to grow. Uh, we got a uh, time for. One more here, or a couple more? Our final question is from one of your in-game hosts, Mike. Uh-oh. Hi, guys. Uh, Carson, just a quick question for you, because I see Robbie Ray and Archie Bradley and Andrew Chapin and Zach Godley are there right now. They're coming up on stage. So which one of them are you most looking forward to catching? You know I can't say, say that. <laughs> that. You're setting me up for failure yes. right there. Thanks yes. for that. Yes, yes. That's what it. I was going for. We'll see. Well, how about we go all of them? All right, well, we got a pretty good staff. That's all I got to say. I like the sounds of that. We do, folks, we really appreciate you coming and, and being so warm and welcoming three of our newest members of the Diamondbacks organization Luke Weaver, Merrill Kelly, and Carson yes. Kelly. We'll see you at Chase Field on opening day. Take care.